Now I solve this question, the same question by using the proposition theorem that is what we call theorem. Now, how do we use the proposition theorem? The proposition theorem says that is if we have number of batteries in this circuit and I have to find the current in this suppose in this arm xy, then what I do is I consider one battery at a time, short the other battery that is remove the battery and connect these wires one by one. I short it because of this single battery I find that is what the current will be flowing in this arm in the arm that is where the question in the question current has been asked. I find its contribution of current in this arm. Once I have found it then I short it I remove this battery connected by conducting wires then I consider this battery then because of this battery I find the current in this arm then the I find the total current in this as a combination of these two contributions. If because of both of them the currents are in the same direction they will get arid and if they are in opposite direction they will get subtract. Now let us see how it can be done. So how many batteries do I see? I see two batteries 30 volts and 15 volts they are two batteries. So first is let me find out the contribution of current because of this battery so as a result is I short and remove the battery connected by a wire. So now if I see it this 10 ohm and this 10 ohm they are in parallel this and this they are in parallel. So if they are in parallel you know they are in parallel 10 ohm and 10 ohm they are in parallel. So equivalent resistance of this using 1 by R is equal to 1 by 10 plus 1 by 10 is equal to 2 by 10 or R is equal to 5 ohm. So equivalent resistance of these two that is 5 ohm. So I write over here as 5 ohm. Right. So the current which will come out partly is 30 divided by 15 they are in series so 10 plus 5 15 ohm. So current which will come out from here is 10 plus 5, 30 divided by 15 that is 2 ampere. So the 2 ampere current comes from here. This is the equivalent resistance equivalent circuit I have drawn. So when the 2 ampere comes from here and it reaches over here it has both the resistances same resistance this and this resistance same it has to get fixed. So obviously the both the resistors are same. So 1 ampere goes this way and 1 ampere 1 ampere goes this way. We are bothered about finding the current in the arm XY. So the contribution of current by 30 volt battery in this arm is 1 ampere. So 1 ampere flows because of this battery in this wire. So I found it. I write over here that is 1 ampere contribution of this I have written over here right I hope it is visible 1 ampere. So this job is done. So now I take this battery of 15 volt and because of this I will try to find the current in this wire in this arm. Now I short it. This battery is gone because at time you have to consider just one battery. I remove this also. So this is 15 volt battery. Now this 10 ohm and this 10 ohm, these they are two resistors, they are in parallel. So this 10 and this 10, they are in parallel. So they make a equivalent resistance of 5 ohm. 5 plus 10 that makes 15 ohm. So that makes 15 ohm. If I draw it over here, see this is x 
over here this is and this is 10 ohms so 15 obviously this I'm sorry this is 10 and 10 they are in parallel 5 ohms so 15 by 15 so 1 ampere current goes over here so 1 ampere current when goes over here comes of the battery 1 ampere comes over here it has two ways to go this way and this way both the resistors here steam resistors so that gets split let's say half ampere over here or 0.5 ampere over here half ampere over here so contribution of current because of this battery in this wire is half ampere in the same direction that is or I write it as 0 0.5 ampere so the total current in this arm is the addition of two currents because this this battery which was there and because of that battery because of this battery it is 1 ampere this way because of this battery it is 0.5 ampere this way both of them they are in the downward direction so the total current in this let's say emitter reading is going to be 1.5 ampere that is the answer so simple once again in superposition theorem you have number of batteries consider one battery at a time plot the other battery find the current in the arm where you have been asked to find the current find its contribution move to the next battery or the other batteries find the current and then find finally algebraically you can add the current take care of the direction if they are in the same direction add it otherwise you can find it Thank you.